One of the new features introduced in VersaWorks 6.7 is the Job Assistant feature. In this great new tool, you have the ability to generate and edit cut lines. You can also make small amends to your vector design files. In this video, we're going to show you how to download and install the new VersaWorks 6.7 and then give you an overview of the features in the Job Assistant. In order to download VersaWorks, you will need to head to webmanual.com dot rolanddg.com forward slash VersaWorks 6. This will take you to this web page and you'll see there's an installation guide with a PDF to help you with any download settings. In the middle here is a link to download VersaWorks 6. You will need to enter your printer name, the serial number of your device and your company in order to access the download link. Here it says download all files and put them in the same folder. So you need to download parts 1, 2 and 3 and save those into a folder. Once you've downloaded VersaWorks 6.7 we can click on the first part of the installer and select run from the on-screen dialog. When prompted click run again and install from the pop-up window. There will be a number of windows from the install wizard that you need to click through in order to begin the installation. Again, click finish when finished and let VersaWorks continue the installation. You need to accept the licensing agreement and then once we've entered our details here this next part is very important. Click next to the X on screen and choose the top option. This is so that the job assistant feature is installed with the new installation of VersaWorks 6.7. You can choose to install the driver or not, and then finish by clicking install. Again, follow the on-screen instructions. Once you've finished your installation, you'll need to restart your computer. Once you've either downloaded and installed or updated to VersaWorks 6.7, you will need to bring in a PDF file. In this example, we've got the Roland logo in vector format within a PDF. If you right click onto the job, you'll see the new function Job Assistant. Job Assistant opens up a new window and there's a number of different icons on the left hand side. The first part says page and in this element, we can edit any of the vector information. So if we select an element, we can move that element we can change the scale of that element and we can also delete parts of the vector information. So for this example, I'm going to delete the Imagine part of the Roland logo and we're just going to focus on using the main Roland part of the logo. At the top here, there are some tools for an undo, redo, uh, actual view display in actual size, fit to page, fit to width and then a scale bar for zooming in and out. So we're going to zoom in a little bit and move over to the Roland logo so we can see that part. So this tab can be used for a small amount of editing to your vector information. Next we go down to the cutting line tab and at the top there's a few different options for your cutting information. First of all we've got creating a cutting line. Next we can draw a cutting line either using a circle or an ellipse or a square or a rectangle. The other function here is to replace with a cutting line. So if we have an existing vector line within our artwork, we can replace that line with a cut line. And finally, we can merge multiple cutting lines together. For this example, we're going to just create a cut line. Next, we can choose the type of cut that we want to create. So we can either choose a cut contour or a perforated cut. When creating the cutting lines, we've got different types of contours as well. So we've got an outline, a clipped outline, so going through part of the artwork, and we've got a bounding box as well. This next part that says cut interior would be, for example, on the O here in the Roland logo, would we want to cut inside of the O or do we just want to create an outline or boundary cut? So for this example, again, we're gonna cut on the interior. And then the corner shape, we can choose whether we have a mitre, a round or a beveled edge. For this example, we're going to round the edges slightly. So once again, just as a recap, we're going to create a cut line, a cut, 
an outline with the interiors cut with a rounded corner and then we can choose the mitre limit as well if we're choosing a mitre. So now I need to select the information that I want to create this cut information on. So I'm going to select and hold the shift key to select all of the information that I want to generate this cut line on. We can choose the offset of our cut. Uh, for this example, I'm going to choose 0.5 millimeters and now we can click create. And as you can see in the preview, we've got a cut line that's 0.5 millimeters offset from the existing data. You can choose a minus value for that offset as well. If you wanted to have uh, a bleed onto your artwork, so choking the cut line, so you can either offset or have a minus negative value to bring that cut line within your cut data. In the display settings, you can choose the preview of how it shows your cut lines. So the default would be for a cutting line to be magenta and a perforated cut line to be dark gray. When we're happy with this, we can click on OK. And you'll see that a new job is created into our queue. So the existing job stays as it is, and the new job, when we open this up, will have the cut data attached. So if we just uh, increase the scale here, you'll be able to see that the cut data is surrounding the logo with a small offset and that we've got the existing file size as it was already. We can then choose our cut settings to ignore the cut as you would normally be able to under the cutting options. We can still add a cut boundary to the file border as well. And that's a quick overview of how to use the new job assistant feature in Verseworks 6.7.